Hey, Chameleon.com here. Today is going to be the test video for the Everyone Lotion. Now, this is one of the highest rated and top rated lotions at the time of this recording on some of the top marketplaces in the world, aka Amazon and some other ones. But before I go any further and before I test this, I want to mention a couple things. First off, as always, you're going to have links in the description below to ensure that you get the best price on whatever lotion or beauty product you're choosing for today. And be sure to check us out over at chameleon.com because we have a ton of home and beauty stuff. We have everything from shower water filters to beauty vanity mirrors and masks. So if you're looking to increase your beauty game or just health and wellness, be sure to check us out at chameleon.com. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell to ensure that you don't miss any other awesome reviews. So I do want to mention this off the bat. I did try this, obviously, because I did open the box and I was actually itching to use this, no pun intended. Uh, maybe a little bit of a pun intended, but I'm going to give you my honest impressions on it. From a surface level, I think it's a good lotion. It's good in between good and great. Would I use it? Yes. However, I think there are better options out there, personally speaking, as a connoisseur of lotions. Let me first talk about the good, and then I'm going to get to the bad. Uh, because I don't want to bash this company completely, because I really do think it is actually a good product uh, for what it is, which I'll get to right now. So it's a very affordable option. For at least at the time of this recording, they claim it to be... Let me get to the important things on why I actually purchased this thing and why it's on my review table. Uh, it is reputed for a lot of things. Give me a minute here. Surface level, gent like no parabens, no synthetic fragrances. It's good for hands, face, body, three in one. It has Most of them have essential oils. They have an unscented version. But, uh, you know, non-GMO verified. Let me zoom in on this camera guy. It's got a lot going for it. Certified B Corporation, non-GMO certified, uh, certified gluten-free, cruelty-free, synthetic fragrance-free, and I think they even say paraben-free. Th I'm not sure why I'm not seeing that directly on the bottle, but they do claim that in the listing. Expertly crafted from organic plant extracts and scented with pure essential oils to soothe and soften your skin. Enjoy love to relax. But they made a point on it. Uh, they made a point on saying it was paraben-free. I'm not sure why they don't put that exactly like on the bottle but i will give this company a couple points for presentation this is how it came in the box love the box it has like little hearts and stuff but i thought the presentation was nice but i really don't care about that that much i'm more concerned about right here the ingredients so there was one ingredient on here that kind of raised an eyebrow it's called dimethicone and i think i pulled it up i hope i pulled it up but it's like it's like a it's like a silicone based thing and the usual thing I have uh, which I use Nature's Gate, which I'm actually gonna be comparing it off the bat in just a second, which is the thing I think it's better, but I wanted I want to stick to everyone lotion because this is probably gonna be more about this company than me trying to compare it because that's why most people are here. Anyway, so they're saying no parabens, no Phil, philolates, no fra no fake fragrances, no dyes, no mineral oil, no worries. EWG verified, cruelty free, non uh, GMO free, gluten free, and polysorbate free, and disosodium EDTA free. So it's free of a lot of stuff. That's why I don't want to bash this thing, and it's very affordable, like super affordable. I, on their on their website, you can get at the time of this recording. I always want to stress that. You can get a 32 ounce, 32 ounce bottle of the unscented for like 10 bucks. And I think they have free shipping if you buy a certain amount of money. Same with uh, Amazon. If you, you know, have enough in your box, you can get, you can get this stuff for really affordable. Whereas the Nature's Gate, um, which I have been using for a long time before I bought this. Let me get to the test really quick while I'm doing this. Cause I, I want to have this going, um, while I actually do this. And then I'm going to get into both of the bottles um, build in just a second. So here's the consistency of both of these. Okay. On the right. Hold on. Wait. I got to go off. I got to zoom in so you guys can see this. It's, uh, as you can see, the Everyone Lotion's on the left and the uh, Nature's Gate's on the right. And I'm just going to rub them into my hands. And I'm going to try and not interfere because I don't want to mix the uh, 
I don't want to mix them on my hand because I want to... That was not executed well, but what can I do? I can't really change it now. Crap. Uh, I guess I'm just going to use the back of my hand. Crap. I don't want to do that. I don't want to mess it up. Everything's still dry, but... I'm trying to get... I'm trying to have it to where I can feel out the lotions on each hand and tell you how it actually does its thing. But what I think I'm going to do is get a towel really quick and then tell you my honest impressions for both of them. Uh, give me a second here. So here's the thing. I'm going to do an air test, okay? This is, this is what I wanted to get at this whole video, okay? Um... I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. Like, okay, if I do this with my hands, all right, this is the big, this was the big thing. I really can't feel any air going to my right hand, which is nature gate, but I can feel like almost the feeling of like, I don't want to make this sound the wrong way, but almost like the feel of like alcohol drying on my hand. Okay. Now I'm not saying this isn't moisturizing my hand, but this has shea butter in it where this does not. So I feel like this thing is really like a thicker, more, more, um, nourishing lotion than this one. Is this a bad lotion? No, it's not. If you're on a super strict budget, and I think a lotion is better than no lotion, okay? I think that's why they call it everyone lotion, so everyone can really afford it. That's why I don't want to knock the company too much. Because I think they're doing a good thing with the no parabens, like, and that's why I had Sir CeraVe pulled up, like, a lot of people buy this crap and, you know, it's got pair, like, it's on the ingredient list, but they have, you know, proly paraben, which I assume is a paraben, and they don't uh, gloat to be paraben free, so I assume it is the case. So I like companies that are, like, trying to actually make wholesome ingredients in their lotion, as opposed to these big boys, um, and go out of their way to do that for the people. I appreciate it. That's why I don't want to knock everyone lotion. So my honest impression is this. This is a good lotion. It's a good to great lotion. This is a great to amazing lotion. I've used like bottles of this over the years. It's amazing. And they claim to be soy free, vegan, gluten free, paraben free, and a bunch of other stuff. Like, like look, look at the free list on here. Okay. Vegan, fragrance-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, soy-free, mineral oil-free, petroleum-free, uh, bolidine glycol-free, and cruelty-free. So, I don't know why they don't, they don't boast the no parabens on here. The dimethicone kind of has me a little bit worried. I don't know if it would be... I mean, it's like... Just look it up. You'll know what I mean. I thought I had it pulled up, but I don't want to go into like this huge thing. But it was like the one ingredient in this thing that I was like, eh... But last thing I wanted to compare, I wanted to keep it to the everyone lotion. I'm going to get to the bottles in just a second. I'm, go, I'm trying to go in order of importance here. Um, as you can see on the left, it's got coconut oil, sesame oil, organic aloe leaf oil, organic uh, some flower extract, a leaf extract. It's got uh, lavender oil, xanthium gum, blah, 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 blah. you get the idea. And, you know, rice protein too which I don't think the, uh, it's also got vegetable glycerin, where this has glycerin. It's got joba joba oil. It's got safflower oil. It's got sunflower seed oil. It's got shea butter, which I think is the main thickening thing for the, uh, you know, for the hands. But anyway, I'm going to continue to keep going. Uh, ivy, pansy, myrrh, willow bark extract. It's also got aloe leaf in it too. But the shea butter is what really makes the difference in a lotion. My my personal humble opinion, okay? Now, I also am going to give uh, the benefit of the doubt. It's been long enough where I've had this on my hand where I'm just going to kind of rub the rest of this stuff in. So here's the, uh, here's the deal with this. Even now, even now, I can feel this is... It's hard to convey through a camera lens, but I just feel like over the four or five minute course of of me having this on my hands i just feel like i just it's a different feeling it really is like this is like more watery and a little bit thinner this is like a thick like silk i want to use the word silky like it's like more of like a silky feeling on my hand where this doesn't really feel like the elast like the elasticity of my skin 
I, I think it's because it doesn't have the shea butter. Do I think it's good? Do I, do I think it hydrates? Yeah, I think it does, but not to the level with that shea butter. Like, once you go shea butter, it's hard to go back. But if you have to get a lotion and you are really bro, like, you're really on a budget, I would recommend it. But I think there's better options, okay? I'm gonna, I'm being, I want to keep these reviews real. Am I going to keep this? I might give this as a gift or something. <clears throat> Pardon me. I might give this as a gift or something. Maybe to uh lucky lady who likes lavender and aloe, not sure. But um I would use it. I just don't like the dimethicone. I don't know if I would feel comfortable with putting 64 ounces of this over my body over time. And the just the just the wave test on how moisturized my hand feels. I just you know, I don't know. I'm just gonna use the tip, tips of my fingers for the back. And then I use the tips of my fingers on this one for the back of this. I don't know. It feels thinner. It feels a little bit more watery. Thinner. Thinner is a, It still feels like a lotion, but it feels more of like a cleanser lotion. Whereas this feels like a creamy, silky, like hydrating thing. Like I can like feel this sinking into my skin where this feels more of like a barrier maybe because of the dimethicone i don't know but i've been using um this for so long i might be a little bit spoiled and you get what you pay for that's my that's what I, that's what i wanted to end out on you get what you pay for my honest opinion links are in the description below once again guys and gals i think it's good between good and great i think this is between great and excellent this is about double the price of this but for how much you use lotion in your life I don't know if you're like an avid user of lotion, if you're still with me, but like you bear, like it, it, you don't have to buy lotion like that often. I mean, in the winter time, like for like a dry shower or whatever you use it for, um, it doesn't go that quick. And for what you pay for it, you know, you get like a year supply for like not even, you know, 50 to 60 bucks. So that's my honest opinion. I don't for for the price point and for how often you use it. I would just go for good to for the good to excellent option, which is Nature Gate. I like the fragrance free. I do like everyone lotion. If this if let me put it this way, if Nature's Gate did not exist, I would probably rely on on everyone lotion. But that's my honest opinion. I think the presentation of everyone lotion is a little bit better. Um, I think the design of the bottle is beautiful. It's the same as the Nature's Gate, and I have to do it again just so I can show you guys. But if I push this down, this actually has kind of like a uh, travel mode to where you can actually lock this into place to where it will not dispense on the road. And this does the same thing. I just don't want to keep doing the uh, wasting lotion. But it pushes down, and you screw it in, and it's travel mode. You can see it by the indentations there but that's the uh that's my two cents on the lotions here they feel good they're not bad i mean the everyone lotion's not bad i would just prefer nature uh, nature's gate over it and that's pretty much it geez i'm using a lot of lotion <laughs> also one more thing the lavender smells great i love the lavender oil it really does smell quite soothing and calming on that note i think i'm gonna end the review uh, beautiful presentation. Not sure if I'm going to return this stuff yet. I think I may end up keeping it or giving it as a gift. But um, I recommend it if you're on a budget. I highly recommend the Nature's Gate. I know you came here for the Everyone Lotion, but that's my honest opinion. Links are in the description below for the lowest, the most affordable, and the best options for what you're looking for for lotion or beauty products or whatever. Here to help you out at chameleon.com. Be sure to like, bell, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss any other awesome reviews. And on that note, chameleon.com is out. And as always, peace.